Bonjour, it's Tanisha and welcome back to another painting video. I hope that you enjoyed this little intro. I really had fun editing this so I hope that you liked it. For this video, I'm gonna be painting a simple painting just of water lilies and it was just last weekend I just had the urge to paint this and I wanted to just play with colors and just put the colors down on paper and just kind of like let the strokes wow I can't speak let the stroke show through so yeah that's kind of what I'm doing and I know at some point it will make too much sense because um, I'm adding a lighter color putting a darker color on top but this is just me having fun and trying to paint out a new type of scenes which is water that I don't really paint and this is my way trying something new and figuring it out and having fun with it Wow, that was a long intro. <laughs> I, I don't usually talk that much in my intro, but I guess I had to share this part that I did. But yeah, basically I had the urge because as you can see on the side, there's a picture of a painting. Sometimes I get inspired by picture, by real life, and other time I get inspired by an actual painting. And I found this by scrolling through Pinterest and I was like, oh, I don't really paint water. and. I like this painting the way that artist did it. I will try to find the link to that Pinterest picture and link it down below and see if I can find the artist as well. But I really like that art style and I kind of wanted to copy it, but not really. I was just trying to find things that really pulled me for that picture. So this is why I'm painting it and figuring that out. If you know me, you know that I paint a lot of landscape, trees, nature, leaves, but water is something that I don't usually paint and usually I use like a dabbing motion to add colors and lights and shades, but for water it was more of a stroke that I was doing on the paper and I also I'm trying to figure out how much details I want to add in my painting. Sometimes I just can't stop and I could spend forever on like one lily pad or like the leaves on that water, so yeah, I'm just putting the blobs of color. It felt like I was putting a blob of color and it was all messy, but I was just accepting the way it looked like and I kept telling myself I am having fun, which I was, but I was trying not to stress too much about the end result and how much details I wanted it to be. So yeah, that is kind of what I'm doing here. You will see me go back and forth, but if you paint, you know that sometimes that's how it's gonna be before you feel like, okay, I'm happy with how that is. At this point, I still felt like I was not done with the background, which was the water and the leaves, but I felt the need to just add the flowers. I feel like, okay, I had to stop. Maybe when I will pull out the tape on the side, it would make sense. And yeah, I just wanted to move on to the flowers, so that's what I did. Thank you. 
Also, I know you're probably noticing that I'm not putting too much details like in the flower or everything else in this painting, but I was okay with it. This was my time to experiment and that's what sketchbooks are for. So I was just using my sketchbook to experiment something. Even if other painting, I put all my soul, all the little details. But this time around, I just wanted to put blobs of paint and see how it turned out. So yeah, I still hope that you like the painting process. I hope that you guys enjoy watching me paint or painting along with me. Let me know what you thought about the video, comment down below, give it a like and share. I really appreciate it and I will see you guys in the next one. Allez, bye!